The thing I forgot to do was to install or to set the database secure. So let's run the command to run a secure installation on that database we just set up. And we're gonna type in current password. The enter for no, we're going to set no for the root password and then click yes, 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 and yes. And then we're gonna continue with our free PPX installation. So we'll install curl directory manager. This is probably one of those commands you wanna copy rather than type all this out. And just go right down the line, just install everything in the, um, the doc that's gonna be provided with this video. Make it a lot easier to just cut or copy and paste all these commands. And these next commands are gonna be way better just to uh, copy and paste because they're just replacing values in the text files. I'm gonna run that command again. I modified it a little bit and I'm just gonna, let me do that again, let's see. I already installed this, so why is it asking me to do it again? I should modify those instructions as well. If you just follow the, um, the, the, the command companion document I'm gonna include, this will make everything go a lot smoother. And if there's any typos, of course, and you can't go through it, then send me a message. Okay, the next command is going to be the last commands to run. Let's type in and set the database user here. And then type in the password for the server or the root account. We have it on the special uh, text file with all the passwords and things. Okay, so we just type that and that initializes. And then once that's finished, we're going to restart the server the Apache server, not the entire server, because the Apache server is hosting the web pages for FreePBX to control asterisk. Okay, so let's enable um, the rewrite engine and um, and it says start enabled. Let's just can, um, restart Apache and then we'll be able to log into the web interface, which is FreePBX. And that'll be part three when we log into FreePBX and I'll show you how to configure the very beginning part of that uh, asterisk server.